All right, I just finished mudding the entire garage. My wife helped me and it took uh, probably about eight hours to do the whole thing. And some of the mud looks rough because you just stick it on and squeeze it out of the, from underneath the tape so it sticks down really well. Next step is sanding, which I'm going to use this same screen and block, which costs, I don't know, maybe 12, $13 at the hardware store. After this step, since I did this all-purpose red dot box, I'm going to actually feather it out with a wider knife and some of this easy sand compound, and then this will help smooth out even further and make the wall look flatter. I'm not pro at this. As you can tell, I made a mess all over my shirt with, uh, with drywall mud. It just washes out with water. I'll get this sanded down and the ceiling sanded down, and then we'll do a skim coat of this. After that, it'll be time for painting, which should be pretty fun. And this is a 120-grit sanding screen. As you can tell, it's making pretty quick work. The other thing about this, it's not hard, but it is a lot of work. Especially if you're trying to do it by yourself. My wife helped me with money. But even then, it's still a lot of work. And if you're trying to go for perfectly flat, smooth walls, you gotta start at the framing stage, which is why all the finishers know who the best framers are. Uh, because if the wall's not framed perfectly straight, it causes way more problems and there's waves in the drywall and all that other kind of stuff. Anyway, back to sanding. Look at that, looks like it snowed. I get dust out of everything for the rest of my life. Now that it's all sanded, it's probably good enough that if you wanted to texture it, you could. But I still have some parts that I don't like very much and I don't feel like doing the extra step to texture it and paint, but you could see like right here. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use that top coat, make it real thin and smooth uh, by mixing it in a bucket with some water and then use a wide taping knife. This is a 12 inch taping knife. I'll use one of these to run over this real thick, make sure all those little holes are filled. And then, then I'll sand again and be able to paint after that. And then hopefully the rest of the sins from all the little crevices and whatever will be filled with paint. And we'll be back. I'm also gonna do a top coat on this textured wall just so it matches everything else in the garage, it'll be mostly smooth. Again, it's a garage. You can spend as much time on this as you want, but I'm not going to. As you can see, it is late now, and I have drywall mud all over me. But I'm about halfway done with the skim coat. I'm about halfway done. I'm saying that because I went through about half of my box of mud. So yeah, I missed right there a little bit too, but that'll sand down. Now I just have this part in the middle left. Hey everyone, sorry for the interruption. Quick note, um, I am able to reply to all of the comments so far in my YouTube comment section. So if I don't explain anything well enough or if you have additional questions, let me know below and I'll get back to them and I'll reply to them to the best of my knowledge or at least be able to help you find something to be able to, to, be able to guide you in your research and finding what the answer should be. Also, if you like learning about random stuff, hit the subscribe button because I make content about 
all the things I need to fix at the time or you know, trying to make something better for myself. Hopefully it all goes well. I have some pretty big plans, some big project plans that I want to do to exp uh, expand the channel and do more exciting builds and things like that. So if you hit the subscribe button, that would be really awesome. And I hope to see you guys soon. All right, it's time, finally time for insulation. Uh, while you blinked, I put in lights and painted the whole place. It's probably a solid B for drywall quality, but if I paid someone to do it, it probably would have turned out better, but not $2,000 better. So I'm happy with it. Now we have this blown in insulation machine right there. And we got all these packs of insulation. I decided to blow in because each one of those bales was like $15 and it covers the most square feet uh, rather than paying like $70 for 20 square feet. But you get the same R value. If you need to know about R value, let me know. I can make a video explaining it for you. But now it's time to blow it in. So we don't have to crawl in the attic. We taped a broomstick to the end of the hose. So hopefully we can get way over there in the corner without having to crawl through attic nonsense. All right, let's get blowing. Somehow I convinced my buddy Kendall to help me with this so I didn't have to be in the attic the whole time. Sorry, sucker. <laughs> All right, Here. back to more insulation. Yep, this is kind of fun because it's all recycled paper. Like I found this thing off of a tobacco. Just, oh, no, I dropped it. There's like some bits of plastic in here. This one literally has the whole word tobacco on it, on the yellow. Now I'm gonna get demonetized. Oh, wait, I'm not monetized anyway. This one says doghouse. It's kind of funny. All right, I wanted to show you guys the finished product. The walls look pretty good. This line right here that you see, I did that a long time ago before this project, uh, right after I got out of the cast for breaking my wrist. Which is why that's there, because I didn't have the ability to cut the wall back and straighten the studs. But we put in a mini split air conditioner. So it's air conditioned out here now, not just insulated. Split the whole place in half. So I have a flight simulator, which you'll see in an upcoming video right here. And put in these flush mount lights. And then on this part of the garage, I have, of course, the garage fridge, the sprinkler timer on the wall. Got the cabinets back installed. You can see all the ceiling here. And then I have my workshop side of the garage. So hopefully I won't die out here in the summer. So far it's been all right, but there it is. Looks like most of the sins were covered up. There's a little bit of a texture issue with so the paint didn't stick. It doesn't look quite even there, but overall pretty good. I want to say thank you for watching to the end. I hope this is helpful. And if you subscribe and like learning about all kinds of random stuff as I do, and as I try to do those random things that I learn about, trust me, if you have a question about something, I might know something about it. Let me know in the comments and maybe check out this next video, maybe right here that YouTube thinks you'll like next. And I will catch you guys in the next video.